Oh, yeah, I probably forgot to do this again, but before you watch this video, please make sure to like hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for the algorithm. Like, just say hi at the comment section. It's fine. Or if you have any questions, just drop it there. If you have any suggestion, drop it there. Uh, and that should be it. Now, on to the video. Oh, wait a minute. No, this is the wrong lens. Uh, let's change this. One sec. Alright, yeah, I think this is the real lens. Uh, I guess we haven't done this uh, vlog type of. Actually, I'm not gonna turn off the sun, I'm just gonna like, lower it down. But uh, yeah, we haven't done this like vlog style because. I just don't have time or I just have people with me to like hold the camera and stuff like that. So tonight's stuff is just going to be like real simple. Uh, it's just going to be a very quick assessment stretching day because I just got my second dose like two days ago and I just want to know if I can start training tomorrow or not. So that's what I do. Uh, and that's what I tell all of my clients is like take two days off uh, on your like first or like your second uh vaccination and then on the third day just make sure that you know you do like some stretches or you do like some uh bar stuff lightweight stuff to see if you are mentally and physically ready uh before you start training again just to be safe sort of i mean like you can't really be safe because you know like you just don't know what's happening inside your body sort of with like the vaccination and stuff but it's better to be safe than sorry so at least you can tell that you are doing fine uh, because it's not really about um, how you feel, it's about how you convince me as a coach that you are ready to go or not, All right? So tonight it's just some stretching stuff and then I'm gonna give an honest, honest, short review on like why I regretted buying the Lyco op Open Collar, all right? I mean, I still don't know how to pronounce it, so stay tuned. Record? Yeah, okay. So, uh, this is actually the second time I record this because I was recording it at a different angle, which I just realized after I finished it. So, uh, let's get onto the video, right? Why I feel like this Elico new up and color is like a waste of my money. Uh, it's just because I know there are three reasons why I don't really like them. Uh, a lot of people are asking, yo, those looks pretty cool, like, where do you get, where, where do you get them, what brand is that, like, how much, you gotta get, I mean, like, how much is already on that video, but, they just wanted, so, again, all of the color from the videos, uh, can be purchased through me, or, like, through Zilfit, whatever, uh, but, yeah, I didn't, I mean, like, I'm not being paid to say good things about this, uh, so it doesn't really matter if I say bad thing about this because it's just an honest review from an athlete to a different athlete to whoever's trying to buy something. So the reason why I don't like this is are for the all these three reasons, right? The first reason being, and this is not just for me, this is from my friend as well that said the same thing. Uh, essentially, the finishing on here that you get is, it was like, uh, I wish, I mean like, I don't know, maybe like look back at my video before this and you're gonna see that the finishing on that is like pretty silverish, pretty like rough or whatever. But then on this here, uh, this is already like two months something. And you can see that the metal here, the surface here is starting to fade and it starts to oxidize, which, you know, I don't really like to see on my 400 ringgit collars right and you can't blame me for being in malaysia or whatever because my gym is already fully ventilated or whatever so like i don't know right and you can see 
the metal inside is I'm uh, pretty sure you can see it's it's kind of okay still but just the one on the outside is like over here it's still pretty smooth but it's just not good on the fingers man like on my skin I'm pretty fuzzy about it second of all the second and the third reasons are because they are a pain in the ass okay so now look 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 at what's happening here it's on right it's not locked right this is the unlocked one and as you can see I'm trying to pull this but it won't go it won't go right unless if you put it at an actual angle and pull it you know this at the right angle it's fine but if you're trying to pull it like there you can't if you're trying to pull it here it's fine but who you're tired from a set you're trying to like take this off that's not something that you want to think about right so the reason why that's happening is because of this rubber right here that is causing it from doing it's, it's causing it to do that right so that's my second issue now my third and last issue <sighs> fine whatever safety but safety doesn't mean that it's it's like okay it's safety from the bar from the plates going out right but safety is not us not being able to like unclip this right so look two hands right let me try with one hand what i can't right that's one now let's just use two that's a lot of effort again after a heavy set think about it right so that concludes it right like that's why I don't like them. I'll probably like sell them off later on. As you can see right here, they're just they're just sitting here. And I'm just like having fun like playing them like, you know, kids with like rocket launches and stuff. So like it's just a weird thing. But that's it. That's that's the reason why. That's the reason why I hate them, right? I bought them because of the tech. Let me sit. Okay. I bought them because of the tech, but it's just a waste to be honest. Like, I still prefer my lockjaw collars. Uh, they are only 180 ringgit, and you can buy them through me. You can buy them through Zilfe. It doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, yes, they are not the cheapest. Like the lockjaws are not the cheapest, but in terms of quality and the longevity, they are the cheapest. Like I don't care what you say, right? If it's really not within your budget, then whatever, go ahead, right? It's it's your call. But if you wanna like, I I I've tried some China brand, and after like a month or two with like heavy weights, they're gonna be easily slide off, slide off, and stuff like that. So it doesn't matter. But okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna continue on training. But if you do like this video, make sure to like like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. And please. Drop a comment to help with the algorithm or whatever it's called. So yeah, that is my review. And I'll see you guys next time though. So peace.